Hello, my name is Julia and today I want to talk to you about the blood-brain barrier. The brain is our most important organ, the main control center of our body. It regulates all processes in our bodies. It makes sure we walk and talk, it communicates with our surroundings via eyes, nose and touch. It also tries to prevent us from doing some really, really stupid things, like touching a hot surface. The brain is also the safe of our memories. It helps us learn and remember things. Because our brain is so important, we need to make sure to keep it safe and protected. That is the job of the blood-brain barrier. The blood-brain barrier is like a wall between the brain and our blood that distributes things throughout our body. In the rest of our body, the blood vessels are like pipes with little windows in the walls. That is important to make sure that all organs have access to sugar and amino acids. But why are they so important? Sugar is the fuel of our body. Our cells have little power plants that convert sugar into energy. Amino acids are the building blocks of the machinery in our cells. They make sure that every function can be fully executed. But what about the brain? It needs those things as well. The blood-brain barrier makes sure that the blood vessels in the brain are tightly sealed so nothing can leak out. These seals are called tight junctions. They are made up by proteins that link tightly together. While this is really effective at keeping bad things out of the brain, it also prevents the good stuff from coming in. The blood-brain barrier has a shuttle system for things that are necessary for brain function, like sugar and amino acids. These shuttles are called uptake transporters. This is not the only transport system at the blood-brain barrier. Additionally, there are efflux transporters. Your job is to make sure that everything that's not passed or squeezed through the seals is transported straight back out of the brain. They act as the bouncers of the blood-brain barrier. If you're not on the approved list, you don't get past them. This is a really important part of the blood-brain barrier, but it also comes with some problems. Many medications aren't on the approved list either. Most of the time that's a good thing. You don't want every medication floating around in your brain, do you? But if your brain is sick, the medications cannot get into the brain and they are not as effective in healing. Researchers have been busy for many years to figure out what to do about that. It's not an easy task, especially because each disease has its own issues. Many diseases themselves cause changes at the blood-brain barrier. In some diseases, the number of efflux transporters goes up so even less of the medication can get into the brain. Researchers are trying to find ways to inactivate the transporters to make sure the medications can reach their targets. In other diseases, the seals of the blood-brain barrier are broken and bad things can just float into the brain. Researchers are trying to figure out how to strengthen those seals to prevent the entry of toxic substances. We still have a long way to go and a lot of things to figure out and learn, but we're on a steady path, gaining more knowledge every single day.